Hi there, this is Goldicut from the Star Trek Armada 3 dev team. Now, uh, I'm aware that some of you have recently had problems uh, with your mod, so I'm just going to run you through what you need to do in order to, one, update to version 1.82, and then reapply large address aware. Now, if you go to your, usually your C drive, users, your name, my documents, my games, iCloud games, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, you're going to be faced with something that looks a little bit like this. Now, currently your mod is in Mod Rebellion version 1.80. If you open that up and copy your enabled mods.txt, and then you can paste it here. I'm going to cancel that because I've already got one out there. Now, what you'll need to do is open your enabled mods. Now, here you are. It says enabled mod name, Star Trek Armada 3. You probably won't have the uh, these little things between yours, uh, but then I'm I'm working on a slightly newer version at the moment, so we're going to delete that and say enabled mod name count zero. You can then save that using file save or simply press control s, whatever makes you happy. And then we can go out of that. Now what's going to happen is you're going to open Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion up. I'm using it in windowed mode so you can see what I'm doing. That's extremely noisy. Right then. Now, in order to actually get the correct mod path up, you're going to go to Options, Mods, and then Show Mod Path. And it will say C Users, blah blah blah, 1.82. You can accept that and quit out the game now. As you'll see, you're now going to have a new folder in there saying Mods Rebellion 1.82. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to take these files, cut them, and paste them in. what this application is, this is uh, Notepad C++, uh, which is quite useful because it contains the line numbers as well. Uh, you may or may not have that, you don't need it, so don't worry. Okay, we're going to copy Star Trek Armada 3 in there and change the enable mod name count back to 1. Now if you save that, okay, your mod is now enabled, but in order for it to run smoothly and properly, we're going to install large address aware. Now, here is a website that I found called Tech Power Up. There it is. I'm going to post that so you can find it and you're going to want to download it. There it goes. And here's large address aware. Now you're going to want to extract that, I guess, to your desktop. That's what I'm going to do. Oop. And we'll replace it because I've already got it on my desktop. Okay. Now we'll click on the application itself. And what you need to do now is you need to find your Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion executable. Now you'll find that in whatever drive your Steam is on. Uh, in my case it's D drive. Um, and then Steam, oh, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And if you scroll down, you're going to find your executable and any shortcuts that you have. Uh, I think this bottom one is my normal executable. Yep, there it is. Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And not dev. Simply, you'll get this menu, and you just want to check that box, and it's going to allow you to use more than two gigabytes of memory, which is going to make games run smoother with less lag, and you're less prone to crashing. Then, save, and there you go. There you have it. You're done. We're just going to open it up to make sure that's all worked correctly. And here it is. We've got a new splash screen there for our Dominion expansion. Shortly before the. There we have it. The mod is working nicely. Here you can see a Cardassian Legate class. And that's all you need to know from me. I hope this has been a little bit helpful to some of you. If it hasn't, let me know. Um, and I'll see what I can do. I may even try making another video. God forbid. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.